Catalonia's 2020-2021 season is kicking off amidst extreme uncertainty regarding the pandemic and the independence movement. Here are the seven key points to keep in mind. Schools are set to open with in-person lessons on September 14th and while new safety protocols have been put in place, health and safety concerns remain. Other sectors are still experiencing serious disruptions due to COVID, including tourism, cultural activities such as concerts or other large events. As COVID cases and the risk of future outbreaks continue to increase, how will authorities tackle the health challenges that lie ahead? Clarity in terms of restrictions, promptly identifying outbreaks, including the symptomatic cases, as well as contact tracing, are paramount, as is developing a strategy to administer a vaccine once one becomes available. The Catalan economy contracted by 20.1% during the second quarter, with unemployment increasing to 12.8% in June and a full recovery still far off. Although the government has claimed that there will be no budget cuts and money from Spain and the EU is expected to arrive, the state of the economy is likely to impact future public policy decisions. President Torre was barred from office for hanging signs in favor of the jailed independence leaders on public buildings in a non-binding ruling that will have to be reviewed by the Supreme Court on September 17th. If upheld, Parliament will have to choose his successor, and if this is not possible, a snap election will be held. Torre said that he would call an election after the budget was passed, but a date has yet to be announced. Ongoing disagreements between Catalonia's pro-independence coalition government partners have made for a rocky political term, with Esquerra Republicana favoring dialogue and Torres Junts per Catalunya opting for a more confrontational route. Talks between the Spanish and Catalan governments began in February but have been put on hold since then due to the pandemic. Whether the jailed independence leaders will spend the remainder of their sentences behind bars, be granted more lenient prison conditions, which are yet to be reviewed by the Supreme Court, or amnestied or are pardoned could become clearer in the upcoming months. The European Parliament is set to debate and vote on former Catalan President Carles Puigdemont's parliamentary immunity, as well as that of two of his former cabinet members turned MEPs. If stripped, Spain could once again attempt to extradite and try them for the 2017 independence bid.